So, Giorgio, you're here to help Sinna for our second uh, Invicta fight. Uh, how's the training been uh, with, with Sinna? Yeah, I've, I've been here now for 10 days. Tomorrow's my last day I go back and training's been awesome. It's been great to be here with Sinna and she's still got another two weeks before the fight, but uh, it's been great to be part of uh, training with her and helping her on the mat and outside the mat. I even done her dishes so uh, yeah we've been training hard and everything's been good. Mm -hmm. Now you seem to share a great bond between you. Uh, is that important in your opinion in, in, in training partners to have a good bond with them? Yeah, it's it's funny, like we do share a really close uh, connection with each other. I think we just have the kind of similar personalities. We're both really quiet. Uh, we both love training, we train hard and I think we, the both of us keep a lot of things in and like then we fight and we let everything out. So it's good to have a kind of similar fighter to you and obviously she loves training and uh, so do I, so it's good that she wants to train all the time and uh, yeah, I, do, I don't really have much experience with girl uh, training partners, so uh, yeah, make an exception for Suna <laughs> uh, I saw that you uh, got a new tattoo here recently, uh, can you tell me a bit uh, about that? Yep, uh, yesterday I went and got my first Icelandic tattoo. I say first because I'm probably going to get more because I love the, I love these kind of designs and uh, the writing. But yeah, uh, it means balance and it's in Icelandic Kroon writing and I love it. You've been uh, training at TriStar and I'm training here for a few days and, and then you of course spent some time in Scotland. So how are you balancing these things? Uh, yeah, like, I've been like the balance, like that's kind of been my thing this year. I've been trying to find the right balance with everything, and uh, yeah, it's been good. Uh, I've not really, I've not been in Scotland since uh, the start of the year, and uh, loving things in Montreal right now. And uh, it was great to come over to Iceland. I love the country, I love the people, and uh, the gang here are awesome. And, yeah, I'm just just love it right now, and uh, the balance is it's getting there. <laughs> awesome. Uh, now you uh, used to uh, you you had uh, four fights in in Vita before you went to the Ultimate Fighter. How was the transition for you to go from Invicta to the UFC? The transition was. Uh, kind of hard at the start because I had such a close connection with Shannon Knapp and Invicta promotion. I just kind of, I loved it there and uh, to, to go then go on to a reality show I was like, well, this is kind of not me, but uh, at the same time I knew it was an opportunity I couldn't let up and uh, they, Invicta really helped us I feel like for any female fighter, especially someone coming from Scotland, like I did not think that anyone would want to spend that money on me taking me over to America and uh, I'm really really grateful that I was part of it and they, they took that risk with me. You wanted to get a fight on the laundry card but you not, didn't get one. Uh, was that uh, disappointing? Yeah, I've got a lot of emotions for not being on London in two weeks because like last year, like the UFC told me in uh, October time that I would be, they would keep me a spot and then I was like, great, this is awesome, I want to fight in the UK, uh, see my family, go over to Montreal, train hard. Uh, I just felt like London was going to be awesome and I feel bad because I got my hopes up and I got the fans' hopes up and by January I was like it's getting closer and I don't know if this is going to happen so kind of was reaching out to them and then yeah it was like about f a few weeks before it I was like nah this is definitely not happening and then they said yeah it's not happening so yeah I was frustrated and more upset but yeah like I say there was so many emotions going through like because 
but then it was my own fault for getting so so excited to be on the London card and with the UFC, you know, anything can happen and it could have like been on the card and then the opponent could pull out, you know, so I got my hopes up and I was disappointed. Now there's a rumour of a Scotland card in July, are you aiming for that? Yeah, like uh, I heard like a few days ago and my Twitter was going mental and I was like, oh, what's this? And I've seen the rumours and stuff and I don't know anything official, the UFC's not told me anything, but I can only hope that the rumours are true and uh, they come back because when they first came to Scotland it was a, an amazing experience and so glad to be part of it and uh, yeah, I can only hope that they do come back and I mean for me to wait till July I would be, because it would be in Scotland I would be like right okay like I would be happy with that but uh, obviously I would like another couple of fights before then but the time is running out. Mm -hmm. Now you've been uh, at TriStar for some time now, what sort of improvements have you made at TriStar? Yeah, I've been at TriStar for a year now and I feel like I've only started making improvements probably since my last fight because I feel like I've, it was a lot to take in, a lot of coaching and a lot of me kind of find, finding my feet and finding my circle that who I want to work with and uh, kind of there's so many people that there and so many coaches so yeah just f and me I was a little bit lost as a fighter because I was like right I need to get better at jiu-jitsu and wrestling and all that but now I've kind of found it I want to keep my striking I want get, to keep getting better at that and now I'm kind of working on my scrambling and I feel like before I was a more a jiu-jitsu uh, fighter as well as striking so I was too traditionally jiu-jitsu, <laughs> if that's the word. Uh, so now I'm just trying to do more jiu-jitsu for MMA, getting back to my feet, more scrambles, and yeah, I'm getting there. It's every day I'm getting better, and can can only do can only do what I can, and that's getting better as a fighter. So, any particular opponent in, in mind? Like my whole career, I knew that was going to happen. <laughs> just wrecking the place. Yeah. Uh, yeah, my whole career I've just said I would like to fight anyone. I, I want to stay active and uh, I'm not the fighter that calls out people and uh, and when people call me out I'm just like, mm, okay, but uh, it's the UFC that decide that. But yeah, anyone like, just as long as I, I can get a fight, especially for Scotland and it would be good to fight a striker. Obviously, because my last fight was like, I thought she was going to strike with me, and then, but it's MMA at the end of the day, and she took me down and stuff. But yeah, anyone and uh, anyone or all of them. <laughs> all right, so thank you for the time.